It's a sad day at XCOM headquarters. Very sad indeed. Hermann Mann, a soldier with horrible reactions, actually reaction fired and missed. And he hit by accident Quintus. He hit him in the back and Quintus had no chance and dropped that. However, Quintus had a primed grenade in his hand and as he dropped dead on the floor, he killed Michael, who was also lying unconscious on the floor in the process. Sad day at XCOM headquarters. Sad day. Anyway, let's have a look. Hermann Mann is a squaddy now. Killed one. I think that was actually an alien. Got some improvements. Look at his reactions. You shouldn't have reaction fired at all. I'm so tempted to just sack you, Herman, but uh, everybody deserves a second chance, so you'll get one more. Okay, so um, let's continue. I'm not sure what we were doing, probably researching something. And scanning for some more alien activity, UFO 48. Small. Let's intercept them. And it is... Ho ho, it is a fighter. Okay, we can maybe try. Or maybe not. To shoot them down using our avalanche missiles. They are outrunning us again? Seriously? Oh, and they have landed. And it will be a night mission. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, well, let's equip the craft. Um, one dog only. Okay. Is a dog on the way? No. I'll um, purchase, let's say, three more. That's fine. And I will equip the craft off camera and be right back. And we're back. So I'm taking only eight soldiers because it's a just a fighter. There will be three aliens on board, so no biggie. And I noticed we don't really have enough armor, so I think we could try to... Yeah, repair some damaged personal armor. So we have four of them. Let's do that. Quickly. Like this. And send Sky Marshal number one after the landing site number 35. Okay, here we go. Begin the mission. And of course I will equip everybody off camera and be right back. And we're back. So, like, everybody has a Gauss sniper rifle, one grenade and a couple of electro flares, except for Agamemnon, who has the fire launcher. <laughs> because it's awesome. So, let's begin. It's a desert terrain and we are gonna start with, um, with the doggy, I guess. The aliens tend to be inside the craft in the fighters so I'm not so afraid and we do have flares which we shall use let's say over there nothing there I guess this is the edge so we can actually no Agamemnon will go somewhere else um, Carlos yeah why don't you run over here give me some light that's cool Give me some more light. Let's say... I guess you can't throw, right? Right. Okay. What about if you run over here? That's fine. There's the UFO. Okay. Next, Sparty. You shall throw your flare over there. That's okay. One more, please, on the top of the hill. Excellent. 
One more there, I guess, and that will be it. Face this way. Nilagi, you don't actually have anything because you're very, very weak. So, come over here. I hope this is not a trap and somebody is actually waiting for me. Over here, that would be not so ideal, but I think it's okay. We really don't see anybody. Yeah, so... You will help him and the two of you just go a little bit forward. Next turn. Doors opening, doors closing. But we still don't see anything. Yeah, there's like nobody there. Okay, just in case. We'll do proper scouting. Even inside. No? No. Okay then, over here. Dr. Simon. 15, that will be enough. Still nothing. Nothing here either. Turn around. No, no. Okay, doggy from the other side. Also nothing. Yeah, the aliens are indeed all in the UFO. I'm not even gonna scout next time. The fighter craft, as far as I can say, has aliens only inside. I would say here is not such a bad idea. Yeah, that's a good spot. Pressure, stay there. Top wick over here. Throw your flare there. That's fine. And you behind that sturdy cactus. <laughs> Agamemnon, don't die. Actually, come one step back. Okay, next turn. We have uh, seen somebody. Which is actually good. Doggy. No? Well, I guess not. Nobody here. So where were they? It's a very small map, by the way, as well. I guess you could do some more scouting. From the top of the hill. Nah. Nothing. Okay. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Seems fine. I guess we'll just have to go inside. Hmm, so do we go from this side or do we take a frontal approach? I guess we go full frontal. Okay, maybe you can go up here. Yeah. Put down the flare. You're fine, doggy. Maybe if you run over there. Yeah, that's fine. Carlos, turn that way, Sparty. Okay, come a few steps. Turn this way, duck and reaction fire if you can. Nilegi, nothing here, I guess. No. Go back and you from over here maybe. Yeah, that should do fine. You can see somebody and they are even shooting at us. Wow. Okay, that means doggy, <laughs> go away as far as you can. Because we are gonna try the fire launcher again. Agamemnon, auto shot. Zero percent. And once more. No? How come it doesn't kill him? Hmm. 
Did I miss all seven of those? I may have. <laughs> I don't know, that's that's strange. Well, top wick or Sparty? I guess you can take a knee and then I'm in shot. No line of fire, stand up. That was not good. What about you, Sofian? Put that on the ground and give me an aimed shot. Okay, if you make one step. Excellent, and he doesn't seem to care. He really doesn't seem to care. Then we have pressure. That was a bad shot. And I guess we will have to use party now and you better hit. Excellent. <laughs> now I have no idea how we are going to cross that uh, lake of fire over here. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Uh, but I think we can actually use a smoke grenade if we had any. I don't think we have any. Yeah, so somebody... Somebody like Topwick will go back for a smoke grenade and put that fire out. Cool. That's fine. Next turn. They will slowly be coming out and <laughs> they will catch on fire, I hope. Uh, but uh, we will not risk it. We already had one soldier die from fire. So we'll take... Um, I don't know. Two smoke grenades if we can. Put that on the ground. That's fine. And um, for now, I guess, stay here. Face that way. Shoot everything that moves and wait for the guy with the, with the smoke grenade. Dr. Zyman, no flare anymore. There's one here. Well, you can just uh, use your normal sight. There's nothing here. Okay. We have explored the whole map. There's two more aliens inside. We're gonna wait them out. Next turn. Nothing there. Oh, the fire is out. Excellent, excellent. That means Doggy can go and have a look. Next time we have a line of fire there, sort of. But I would like to move downwards so that we can also shoot inside. Let's just have a look from over here. Okay. This is also fine. And all that as well. Okay, let's uh, take two more proxies, um, two more smokes, just in case we need it. And um, hmm. we need at least one guy over there, but I guess it's up to you, Carlos. Everybody else would be exposed. There's no really good approach angle. I guess they don't care about us. There's nobody. Really. Okay. So go back and we can now go forward, I guess. The aliens are deep inside the craft. And I think they don't have enough time units to actually go outside and shoot. It's snake men, don't forget, so basically they are very slow. I think that's more than enough, right? Um, doggy, maybe you can come here already or in the corner and duck and shoot if necessary. It's not necessary. Open the door. Open the door. There's one guy right there. 
Hmm. Okay, doggy, stay there. We'll use you if necessary, but we would like to give some experience to our soldiers uh, as well. So, Carlos, I hope you can take him out with one shot. Yes, you can. Stay here. Russia will come and help you. But first, let's have another look. There's the culprit. Okay, doggy, you have to take care of him. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Snake man can't take a single doggy bite. Good to know. Good to know. Let's return. That was a nice mission. Oh, and we have researched the Electro Whip. This weapon is essentially similar in function to the stun rod, but that doesn't even begin to describe its unusual properties. The whip uses modulated electric impulses to incapacitate the target, but we do not really understand how this modulation works or even where the energy comes from. While we know how to use this weapon, we are unable to reproduce it. So it has a snapshot, but I guess the range is 1. <laughs> It's uh, not 100% accurate, but it costs a fixed number of time units, which is good. Stun only 70. I was hoping for more, to be honest, because um, the stun rod has uh, probably the same, I think. Well, anyway, let's do the last weapon from the golden UFO as well. Hopefully that one will be better. And let's check, actually, the stun rod. Stun rod, stun rod, stun rod, 65, yeah, and it always hits, so I'm not so convinced that it's better than a stun rod. <laughs> but we'll use it anyway. Uh, before we forget, let's equip the craft with uh, the Electro Whip. Excellent. And um, let's continue. Personal armor repair is finished, so... Let's check what else could we possibly do. So craft weapons, not interested in that. We have all we need there as well. Ammunition weapons. Is there anything new? Oh, I wanted to also research the dart rifle clips. We'll do that next. Basic components, Illyrium, Cyberdisk, Disassembly, no. Personal armor, no. Maintenance. Hmm. Can we do any of those? MIB Commander Corpse required. And it's available free and will give us personal armor adaptation. Yeah, let's let's turn them into armor, I guess. So now we have... Let's see if that works, right? Now we have four. And once that is finished, which is right now, we should have more. Uh, where was that? Maintenance? Yeah, so we can't build any more. Power suit we can't do, and Stormtrooper we can't do. So we should have uh, seven instead of four, right? Let's double check. Armor? Yeah, we do have seven. Excellent. I like that. So we can strip the MIB guys naked for personal armor. Cool, I like that. I like that a lot. Then uh, next, concussion cannon. Wow, also stun damage 50 times 10. So I guess it's some sort of a shotgun. Yeah, 50 damage time times 10 projectiles. Maybe has an aim shot, which is not very accurate, <laughs> and a snapshot, which is also not very accurate. It costs uh, relatively a few time units, which is good. This ranged weapon uses sonic pulses to incapacitate enemies. While non-lethal, it is extremely effective against living targets. We do not clearly understand how exactly this noise weapon affects living creatures, and we have no idea how it is powered, therefore we are unable to copy its design. 
very well. As I said, we should continue with dart clip B. And uh, now we can actually turn off the advanced option called or turned on spend researched items. Yeah, because we have done all the golden UFO stuff and can continue with the recommended option. Okay, next. Attack doggy. That's fine. Let's put him on board. We have two spare. That's fine. This is still unknown. We have two new soldiers. We have re we will rename them immediately. So it's Quintus and Michael. Um, let's say this one will be Quintus number two. And this one will be Michael number two. Michael U A like this. Okay. You have a strong soldier, very strong soldier actually. And the rest is pretty average. What about Quintus? Quintus is very weak. <laughs> Only 25, but firing accuracy and reactions and bravery and time units. Wow, everything is really good. So Quintus, you get a better soldier than you had before. Let's put you on your position. I think uh, Quintus was number 80, so right above Dave and Michael was the last guy. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Let's manufacture a couple of uh, personal armors for everybody, so that I don't have to check who has and who doesn't have armor anymore. Okay, our trifle clip B, we don't even see the UFOpedia entry and we can actually research dart rifle clip C right away. That's uh, not usually the case, but I guess I have enough corpses <laughs> to to have the research. So we'll skip the clip B, I guess, and go straight for clip C. Yeah, that will be cool. Let's not manufacture that. We'll have clip C very soon. So personal armor is done. Let's equip the craft, or actually our soldiers with personal armor. Now really everybody is protected. And continue. Dart clip C allows us to research Medigas grenade, which we will do, because it sounds cool. And I will also start manufacturing that uh, clip C. So it should be somewhere over here. And we'll do, I don't know, 30, 32. Okay, put everybody on the project. We'll take five days, doesn't matter. And let's um, see, because it didn't pop up, how good it actually is. Dart rifle. So this is uh, clip A, clip B, clip C, and it goes all the way to 56, which is not great, but it's a lot better than 36. So I think we can start using this to take some live enemies alive. And actually I forgot completely to equip the Sky Ranger with the concussion cannon as well. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, clip A, we will not need that. Let's uh, put that away and sell it so that I don't accidentally use it. Where are you, Clip A? Sell that and uh, manufacture Clip C. Great. Medigas grenade research is finished. Combining the trigger mechanism from a smoke grenade with a small pressurized canister of anesthetic gas, these grenades are an ideal, 
a flow strength way to capture live aliens. Stun only 35, that's even less than clip A. Wow. And you needed clip C to research that? That doesn't seem right. Well, we'll do a couple of those anyway. And uh, we should probably res um, return to some uh, more basic stuff. We do have a lot of these actually. So which ones are we missing? I think we haven't researched a snake man yet. A live snake man that is. We have the corpse. We unfortunately have only soldiers, but uh, let's do that. I'm doing it so that medics will not give me a description of the snake man. I want to start researching medics eventually, they have some secrets. But I need as many live aliens as possible so that the chance to get something useful instead of a description of an alien is higher. So even though you may think this doesn't make any sense, it actually does. Medic gas grenade, I guess, is a weapon. Yes, it is. Wow, it actually requires smoke grenades. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's do 10. Later. And let's purchase some more smoke grenades so that we can turn them into um, the other types of grenades. So, smoke grenades. Let's take 20 more. And medicas grenades. Let's do 16. Yeah, that's fine. And even put a few people on that. 38. It will take one hour. Really? That's it. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. Um, I think that might even be wrong. I mean, creating 60. I mean, if it's just attaching some sort of anesthetic gas canister to an already existing smoke grenade, maybe those 30 engineers could do it in one hour. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay didn't say anything. However, I'm not uh, so sure if I understand why 120 engineers can do just a couple of clips in so many days then. It doesn't seem too balanced. But I'm not here to question final mod pack, I'm here to play. Snakeman soldier, that's okay, we know what they are. And I think we also haven't researched an ethereal yet, so... Who do you want me to research? A guardian or a speaker? I think we have two guardians, so let's do a guardian. Is that true? Yeah, we still have one guardian left. And one is in the research. <laughs> we have... We are uh, hopelessly over the alien containment limit. I guess they will have to... Well, stick together. But we'll eventually go through this once. Uh, actually, we'll go through this very soon, I guess. We'll start with the m hybrids and with medics and agents. And I will probably even, even get rid of something. So, commanders, medics, navigator, grunt. I don't think grunt will tell me anything. And we do have life anthropods already, so let's kill that guy. Snakeman soldier we don't need anymore. Float to navigator. Chthonites we do have already, so we don't need these guys. Hybrid workers. Um, I don't know, I think we don't need those either. Yeah, go away. Um, okay, maybe not. We'll, we'll see. Hybrid agents, uh, I'm not sure. Tunlons, we know already about them. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's remove those guys. That looks much better already. And uh, it's been 29 minutes. Only one small mission and a lot of base management. But um, let's uh, finish this episode with an Ethereal Guardian. It tells us about Ethereals. So they are the same race, the orange and the white ethereals, otherwise we wouldn't see this. We know all about them from previous LPs, but now we can research ethereal order and envoy ship. And we definitely want to know all about that. 
So let's find out more about that envoy ship. And we hit the 30 minute mark right now. So I will save the game here. Part 62. It's the end of it. And when we come back, we'll hopefully have more luck and um, spot some more UFOs because it's been, I think, 10 days and we had only one tiny little fighter, which is not good. Either we are missing something or the aliens are scared, but we do have full radar coverage. We should be able to see everything that comes from the outer space to our atmosphere. However, hmm, we'll see. Um, let's check the graphs as well. North Atlantic and nothing else. Yeah, maybe North Africa a little bit. And Central Asia a little bit. So basically over here, that was the mission we had right now. Yeah, the, the aliens just don't want to come. They are afraid. Yay, we are winning. <laughs> anyway, talking too much. See you guys next time. Bye bye.